have been actually been working here in the shop. And at the table saw <laughs> too. Oh, good. So we've been talking about cutting small parts and the two big considerations there. One, first of all, is safety because they're small parts. Keep your fingers out of the way. And second is accuracy. So what we decided to do is actually design a, a sled for cutting small parts, specifically for cutting small parts. Now we're always using cross-cut sleds you know, in the workshop, but when you're dealing with small parts, we decided a smaller scale sled would be better suited, especially when you're dealing with things like plugs. So we made this uh, sled that has an attachment, small tray, they drop right in there, you don't have to worry about them rolling around. But those aren't the only kind of small parts you're typically working with. Now I know in my shop, I'll spend a lot of time with small boxes and small picture frames. So to cut the miters on the ends of those pieces, there's a secondary attachment that goes on here, allows you to miter both ends of a small part quickly and easily. Right, so we wanted to make it a multi-purpose small part sled. We had those two attachments. We have a third one that is a rip fence. So if you have to rip small pieces, you can add that to the sled. And then even a fourth one, which is a cutoff fence with a stop if you have to cut a lot of small pieces repetitively to exactly the same length. So looking at pictures of this small part sled is okay but maybe we should get in the shop and look at it for real. Hey Phil, I see you're making good use of the small parts sled that showed up in issue 218 of Woodsmith. Well, a cross-cut sled is an ideal accessory for any table saw to make accurate cuts in a wide variety of pieces. You know, and that's really true when the parts get small. You want to do that safely and accurately. So this sled is actually a scaled-down version of a cross-cut sled. And like any cross-cut sled, it has a stable base to carry the workpiece through the blade. And there's also a front fence and a back fence that hold everything together. Now, of course, you want to guide it accurately, so on the bottom of the sled, we've got a pair of metal runners that actually fit the miter slots in your saw. Now, you want a smooth sliding fit, so on the top, we drilled a pair of holes that allow us to fine-tune the fit so everything slides nice and smooth. But what sets this cross-cut sled apart from other ones is this T-track that's mm -hmm. set in near the back fence. And with it, I can attach a stop block for making accurate cross-cuts in a lot of pieces so they're all the same length, but there's more to it than that. It's actually the heart of a modular system so that you can make a wide variety of cuts. For example, I can attach these miter fences in place. Now everything gets attached with a flange bolt, a washer, and a knob so it's nice and secure. Now with these miter fences attached, I can cut accurate miters on the end of this molding piece. It's just a matter of holding it in place against the fence and moving it through the blade to make an accurate cut. Now those miter fences are a great addition for cutting small pieces of molding accurately, but there's some even smaller parts that I cut a lot in my shop, and that's small plugs to cover up screw holes when I've assembled a project. Yeah, for when you're cutting small dowels like that, we have this auxiliary raised table with a fence on the back, and that creates a cradle for those really small pieces. Of course, when you start cutting small pieces, they drop to the tabletop, and like dowels, they're going to roll around and sometimes get lost. Right. The solution for that is this recessed tray so that once the piece is cut free, it just falls safely into the tray where it's collected. On the fence, there's also an adjustable stop so that you can cut the pieces to a consistent length. Using it is just a matter of butting the workpiece against the stop, moving it across the blade where the workpiece falls right into the tray. Well, that's a pretty cool solution for dealing with really small parts, but there's one other challenging small part to cut, and that's ripping small parts to width. So our final accessory for the sled is a rip fence that we made. And what's nice about it is like before, they all attach with the bolt, washer, and a knob. So that holds it in place, but it allows you to adjust it to get the width that you're looking for. What sets this one apart is that there's a hardboard fence or hold down on it. So you can loosen it up, slide your workpiece in place, and lower the hold down over the top. Now, when you make the cut, the workpiece is held secure and it isn't going to shift.
Well, I can see a lot of uses for this rip fence addition to the sled, as well as the small parts table and tray, and even the miter fences. But even if you just build the basic sled, it's a great addition to any shop.